Father Chris OFM, a.k.a. Pilgrim Padre, here with reflections for the third Sunday of Easter. We hear in the Gospel this beautiful account of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. As they are walking, they encounter the risen Jesus who opens the scriptures to them. And then when this stranger who is the risen Jesus eats with them, he reveals himself to the disciples in the breaking of the bread and then disappears. Now, for us disciples of Jesus Christ, we can sometimes think, gee, wouldn't it be nice for us to have an encounter with the risen Jesus the way these two disciples on the road to Emmaus did? And I always like to say, well, the answer is, we do. We have an encounter with the risen Jesus through the sacraments. That is, in the Eucharist, we truly encounter the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. He is the crucified and risen one present in our midst. Now, you might say, great, Father Chris, that's really neat, but here's the problem. We aren't able to go to Eucharist right now. And yet we want to remember that the Holy Spirit makes the risen Jesus present also in those who are members of his body, that is, the baptized, us in, that is, he lives in us, the risen Jesus. So we want to ask the Holy Spirit to have that kind of an encounter with the, risen, the presence of the risen Jesus in us today. But I want to press on about the Eucharist, because it's interesting that any time you want to understand the importance of something, you should go without it. So anytime we want to remember the importance of having to saying the Alleluia, the importance of that, we as a church, we go without it for all of Lent. And then we enter back into joyously during the Easter season into saying Alleluia. So going without something isn't necessarily a bad thing so long as we remember that we are recalling and getting a better sense of what this thing actually means. The Eucharist is Jesus, and there are so many times that people take it for granted, or even myself, I have to, I have to point the fingers at myself as well. As a priest, sometimes it can become so habitual to say the same words again and again. And to re but to remember that this is Jesus in the breaking of the bread. One time I was preaching to some kids in a Catholic school and I mentioned that Jesus, who's present in the Eucharist, wants to do what he did when he was living among us, and that is heal us. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Like a lot of people sometimes do, you know. And... I realized, okay, it's kind of a hard thing for these kids to to take, that Jesus is present in the Eucharist, therefore it's the same Jesus that was living on earth, therefore it is the same Jesus acting in the same way, which means that he wants to bring healing to us. So during that Mass, I thought I had maybe dug myself into a theological hole of disbelief, and during the consecration, I looked at the host after consecrating it, and I said to Jesus, Jesus, you got me into this mess, you get me out. Well, the Lord gave me what's called a word of knowledge shortly after that to let me know that one of the kids had a headache and that he was healing it, or going to heal it, that he wanted to heal it. So at an appropriate time in the Mass, when there was a little bit of a pause, I did mention it, and I said, Jesus, who's present in the Eucharist, wants to heal somebody's headache. So after people received communion, I asked the kids, you know, this was before the closing prayer, or after the closing prayer, I forget which, but I took some time, an appropriate place, and I asked the kids, and one second grader raised her hand and, and um, said, that she had had a headache before Mass. And I said, well, what happened now? And she said, it's gone. Like, I still remember how she said it. I said, wow. And then I realized she didn't receive communion. She just received a blessing. So even the presence of Jesus, 
Not that she received Jesus into her body, but the very presence of Jesus had healed her. One of the 8th graders also raised his hand. Later I found out that he also had had a headache during Mass and it disappeared when he received communion. Even better, afterwards I went and I was excited. I was like, oh, I, I talked to the secretary of the school and I said, one of the kids got healed during the school Mass. And she said, really, what, of what? And I said, oh, she had a headache and it went away. And, and the secretary said, that's funny because while you were celebrating Mass, I had a headache and it went away. And I said, thank you, Lord, for collateral healing. You know, if there's collateral damage, Jesus can do collateral healing. So, brothers and sisters, during this time when we are not receiving communion every day or every Sunday, and we're going without, let us be reminded that this is Jesus, that he is the one who is risen from the dead. He is our Savior, that when we receive communion, we can be healed. When we receive communion, we can even ask for other people to be healed. I've got a long story about that one. I won't go into it today because this is already going long enough. But we want to remember, he is to be found in the breaking of the bread. It is truly Jesus. Let this time now that we are going without the Eucharist in a normal fashion be a reminder for us of the extraordinariness of what it is that we receive. Jesus Christ, present in his body, blood, soul, and divinity. The risen Jesus who is among us. Amen.